In this video, you'll learn how to make money with Canva by creating simple digital products. But before I continue, hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications because I'll be creating more videos just like this one, showing you how to make passive income online and you don't want to miss it. Now let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into Canva really quick, just in case you don't already know what Canva is. This is a all in one stop place for graphic design and everything associated with that. So you can make logos, flyers, banners, uh, P different PDFs, uh, presentations, uh, create all types of templates for uh, social media, uh, everything. So pretty much if you're creating digital products, Canva is your go to place to actually create them. All right. So over here at Etsy, this is an example of somebody who's actually selling digital products and their store is mainly comprised of Instagram uh, story templates and other templates related to Instagram. And so this is just one of their products right here. And their their stuff ranges between, you know, a dollar forty five and, you know, four bucks. And so if you do the math, average that out in times of by the amount of sales that they have for the store, you can see they're generating a lot of money by just selling social media templates in general. And, they, and they're creating this in Canva. So that means if you have an eye for design, you're not spending any money on the creating process, you know, unless you want to hire out a third party to actually do the designs for you. You're just creating this stuff in Canva and and uploading it into your uh, Etsy store. So just think about that one right there. So if you want to go ahead and get started doing this, this is the first thing I'm going to do. This is the first thing I would do is you want to go ahead and go to the Google Keyword Planner and you want to actually do a little research. You want to see how popular certain templates are, or certain things. So. For, for this example of this video, we're going to look up Instagram story templates. Now you can look up any type of template that you want. If it's, you know, uh, digital planners, calendars, uh, YouTube related, uh, you know, stuff, Facebook covers, whatever digital product you want to look up, you want to come here to, uh, to the Google keyword planner first. So I'm going to go ahead and type this in Instagram story template. Let's take off cause I want to. I want this to be all locations. I want to see what it looks like worldwide. All right. So in general, Instagram to story templates is getting anywhere between 10,000 to a hundred thousand uh, searches a month. So what you want to, so what that tells me is there's a good amount of people that are searching for it. And nine times out of 10 is probably falling in, in the, in the uh, 50,000 search range. So either way, that's a lot of searches and that's enough searches to justify creating the template for this. This thing is all in my way. All right. So once we have that in place, the next thing we're going to do is now, now we've settled on Instagram story templates. We're going to go over to Pinterest really quick and you're going to type in Instagram story template design ideas. If you're not going to do Instagram story templates, insert whatever digital product template, and add design ideas because we want to get ideas uh, for uh, our designs, some inspiration. And what you can really do is if you if you have a Pinterest account is to actually create a board for the different designs that you actually see, because you what you want to do is you want to go ahead and pin the best of the best designs, whatever you see in here that you see is the best. You want to go ahead and actually pin those designs onto your board. And so this is all about getting inspiration. So let's take a look at what we got right here with some of these things. These are some Instagram story templates right here. Okay. And then you can go ahead and pin these onto your board. And once you have a nice little collection, what you, what you're going to want to do is, is come over here to Canva and here you'll type in Instagram story. And then you'll look at all of these right here. And the point of doing this is so that you have the right dimensions. Unless you like a design template that you want to use as a base model, uh, I usually just uh, start from scratch and because you want to make sure you have the right uh, the dimensions for your template. And so what you're going to do is you'll actually go ahead and, you know, either create a blank one or pick a template on, on here as a base 
and then go back to your Pinterest board of all the collections of everything that you actually uh, pin to your boards and take the best design elements that you like and you know come up with something for your own excuse me for your own template so once you've actually come over here to Canva and you typed an Instagram story and you you've chosen a template you know you just just like this you click one start from scratch now you can go back and look at some of the design elements of the ones that you went ahead and you chose now we're gonna fast forward and you've now designed up all your templates and things like that what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here to Etsy if you haven't already uh, signed up for it it's free just sign up for Etsy create your account and once you create your account you'll go ahead and open up your store inside of Etsy and you'll go ahead and create your listing for your templates from there. Now I chose Etsy. Etsy is a big marketplace. You'll see a lot of these things uh, on here, but another site that's like Etsy is a uh, creative market. Um, it's a marketplace. Now, if you're somebody who's already a digital entrepreneur, and you, you create content through social media all the time, things like that. Another place outside of Etsy, because there's a lot of competition in Etsy itself, so you will still want to market yourself, is you can go to Standout Store. And this is a paid service, but it's like a it's like a website, but for it's like a social media website though. So you can actually put your templates uh, and open up a store here. And you can put this in your social media profiles. And so if you look at different creators as it advertises right here, uh, a lot of these guys are TikTok creators. So if you were to go onto their TikToks, you would see uh, their stand stores as well, where they sell their digital products as well. And, you know, if you don't want to do that, then you can uh, open up a site uh, or an account with something like Squarespace and create your own store through that website. So these are just some options that you can list your templates at, but it's just, you know, Etsy is a, is a popular place. You would probably have to do some paid advertising to get a little boost first, but outside of that, you know, it's a good place to actually get started at. So you can do Etsy, you can do creative marketplace. Um, if you don't want to mess with these marketplaces themselves and you want to create your own store on your own website, you can use Squarespace or you can use Stan and you know link that directly to your social media profiles all right that's it it's that easy now you know how to make money with canva now if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up share the video and subscribe to the channel other than that i'm mike garvey the passive income boss and i'll see you in the next video take care